back to Pam TV. So today is Sunday and today is Beauty Sunday for me, which means, you know, I put some moisturizer in my hair, some oils, I do my face masks, and I wanted to show you the products that I use on my skin because I have really bad skin and I have found these products to be the best ones as of this moment. Um, and the products that I'm gonna share with you are the ones that have helped me the most. I also believe that the skin shows a lot of our how we feel on the inside. Um, I, for one, can always tell when I'm not feeling good when I have a lot of negative energy inside because I just have so many more breakouts and my skin just looks really bad. Um, I also think our skin is a reflection of our diet, um, the foods that we eat, and I personally try to eat as natural as possible. That does not mean that I eat only natural foods. Of course I go out for dinner and I eat whatever I want, but yeah, I really try to watch what I eat in that sense. Um, yeah, so let's get started. So when my face is drying, I know, this is, who does YouTube videos with their face full of clay mask? Who cares? Uh, for all the girls out there who are interested in more organic beauty products, I totally recommend EOSA, which is the company that I use for most of my face stuff. Um, I think this tea tree leaf exfoliant is really great. It's grainy and you combine it with some soap and it's it really, I, like afterwards, my face is so soft. And the reason why I love Aosop so much is because their products are based with more natural ingredients. The other one that I think is also great is this Palmarosa Purifying Facial Mask. Uh, yeah, it's with natural clay and herbal extracts. I find this to be very good. I saw immediate effects when I started using this. And I also find that the activated charcoal, which I didn't spread properly on my face, does a great job of lifting all the toxins from the skin. Um, I know it's like super mainstream at the moment, but I think it is a really good thing to try. The other thing that I think is really, has been really, really great for my skin is this cognac sponge. Um, I only recently heard about it and it's really cheap. It's only $12 compared to $200 from the Clarisonic which I don't even use. So yeah, I think this is a much better investment and I find that it does, I mean, I think it does a great job. It's a Japanese lead, I think. Uh, I think it's algae. I'm not sure, I should have been better informed before making this video. And it's great, it's really amazing. All right, so after 10 minutes of having this face mask on, it completely dries and you can actually see because your pores start coming through. And then it's time to rinse. All right, and so after I rinse off the face mask, I use Aosop's Parsley Seed Antioxidant Facial Toner. I've been using this toner for three years now and I think it's one of the best ones I have found. I actually keep my toner in the fridge because I find that when it's cool, I just think it feels so good on my skin. And then for the final step, I use rosehip oil. I read a lot about it. Apparently, quite some people use it. And now I can see why because it doesn't clog your pores. There's actually, I'm gonna link below. I found a table that actually shows you the oils that like that actually clog your pores. I used to put coconut oil on my skin and it is, well it is good, but I think like it is an oil that actually can clog your pores. So it was good to know that. Um, yeah, and I really feel like my, this has made a huge difference on my skin. Uh, together with the cognac sponge and the black charcoal, which I recently added, I think those three combined have really helped control my breakouts. Um, I use the charcoal face mask maybe twice, three times a week, but I do use the cognac sponge every morning and I use the rosehip oil every single night. And sometimes I actually combine it with my moisturizer before I put on my makeup. Um, yeah, and so these are just some of the products that have really helped me with my skin. Maybe you'll find some of these products useful. I will link all of them below. 
Um, if you have any questions or comments, let me know. And I will see you back here next week. See you!